Our next caller is Juan from Quebec, Canada. Hey, what's up, Juan? How can we help you? Hey, guys. So, first of all, I've been listening for over two years, and I have nothing but respect for y'all. And so, please keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so, a little bit of background on my question. It's regarding my niece. So, since the last year, due to, like, the, the pandemic and the lockdown, I had a I had quite the like the, the the change in my lifestyle. So my activity levels decreased. Uh, I stopped walking a lot, and uh, the gyms got closed over here uh, for over eight months. And that was pretty pretty hard on my lifestyle. I was at the time I was following Maps Anabolics, so I was lifting consistently. Then after that, uh, after a couple of months into lockdown, I noticed a clicking noise on my knees. So every time I would go past 90 degrees on the squat, uh, I would hear like this grinding noise, this grinding like <clears throat> sound that it would be just, it's just a noise. Like it doesn't, like I don't feel it. It doesn't hurt, but it's just, a, it's just an annoying noise that's not normal, of course. So I did a couple of things. So first of all, I just thought it was a lack of priming. So I got into priming uh, that like it helped just a little bit, but it didn't have like a big effect on it. Then I did some research and I thought it was a muscle imbalance. So uh, like there's several muscles attached to the knee joint and I thought it was a muscle imbalance. So I started foam rolling and I, I also modified, I took uh, MAPS anabolics and I modified it. So it wouldn't be so heavy on my quads because I noticed my quads were getting bigger than, you know, my posterior chain on my, on my legs. So I modified MAPS anabolics and that's what I've been doing so far. And so my question is, can the clicking noise be due like to the muscle imbalance or is it just another factor such as uh, mobility of my ankles or hips or just my posture in general when I work out? It's, it's, it's going to... Welcome to getting older, Juan. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be... It's either going to be your hips or your ankles. It's probably where it's going to... So feet, ankles, or hips. So I would do it's all, it's, mobility it's a, work on both of those on a regular basis, like daily. I would do you know, two 10, 15-minute sessions a day working on mobility in those areas. And then when you do your squats and your lunges, go lighter. Go lighter for a while so you can focus on working on better connection and uh, and mobility. A couple of weeks ago on my Instagram, I, I posted a video in my garage squatting barefoot. If you turn the volume mm -hmm. up on it, you can hear my ankles and my joints, like you, and my knees okay. the entire time. Um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't bother me. Sometimes I notice it like when I go out and I squat and I'm pretty cold. So if I didn't do like a really good job of, of warming uh, my body up and priming really well and I kind of get into it, I, I notice that I, it, you can hear it. Uh, but it, it it's pretty it's pretty common. Uh, and if it's not causing any pain and you don't see any major discrepancy in your movement, in other words, if you look at your squat and video it and it looks pretty damn good, like you're moving really nice, I don't think that I would assume that it's a, a muscle imbalance. You know, one of the best ways to test like a muscle imbalance, like a discrepancy in left or right, is to do something like the 9090 in Prime Pro. And does one side look way different than the other? Can I do this internal rotation on one side, but the other side I can't do it at all? That would that would point me in the direction that there's probably a muscle imbalance going on that we need to address. Uh, there's a really good chance that you just the the clicking you hear is like air and the joints just kind of popping and uh, if it's not hurting you it's 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 pretty normal. Yeah, really, just to be concerned if it's not tracking properly and you could feel if it's like an instability issue where 
you know, your, your knee might travel inwards or outwards a little bit more when you're squatting. But if it's just like a noise and a clicking noise, I mean, I'm going slower and adding more tension is going to allow more support around the joints always. But um, yeah, like Adam said, it's a lot of times, like even my shoulder, I do a lot of work, a lot of uh, mobility work on my shoulder. And every now and then it clicks and it's just kind of one of those things that uh, you, you just kind of work through. But I'm always right. trying to address it at least in slowing down and, and adding and uh, priming and, and warming my body up properly. Yeah, you, you mentioned grinding. So so there's clicking and then there's grinding and also pain, right? If you feel pain and if you feel grinding, that's something to pay attention to, which is different than just popping and clicking, which, which oftentimes doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything bad. So if you are feeling grinding other under the kneecap, uh, then these are all dance moves, by the way. Yeah, not yeah. that kind of grinding, just <laughs> yeah. <that>. grinding, <laughs> popping, locking, all yeah. that stuff. All of it. Yeah, I'm, if, I'm into it. If you are feeling pain or grinding, uh, then I would focus on working on the hip, ankle, and foot mobility every single day, going lighter on your leg exercises, and allowing your mobility to improve until the point where you don't feel those things. If it's clicking and there's no pain, it, and mm -hmm. you've got good form, it's probably nothing to worry about. Did you only notice this after you put on weight during the pandemic, or has this always been kind of something you've noticed? Uh, no, I noticed it after the pandemic. I assume it was just like uh, I stopped moving as much as before, so I just assume it was like, you know, lack of movement in general. Was it like just a little bit of weight you put on, or did you get like Justin fat? Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean that's that's all <laughs> in. If that's the case. We had it. We act, don't say and don't feel bad. Justin went through the same thing during the pandemic. We had a CGI his his body in there. I, I gained he, the COVID nineteen. Oh, wow. I'll just be honest. Yeah. yeah, his glutes were grinding. It was really. It was, yeah, it was I impressive. Mean, that, that's good though. No, I didn't put on that much weight. It was just a, a couple of pounds. I think it was main mainly muscle. Like, like oh, okay. Also. But yeah, it was mainly on my on my legs though. Okay, you're probably good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for calling, Juan. Oh, Juan, you okay. already have Prime Pro. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I do have Prime Pro. Okay, and you're following what anabolic right now? What are you following right now? Yeah, uh, I'm following uh, anabolics at home. Uh, right now, I, I I was hesitant to go back to the gym because like I knew I would go heavy, like you know, like <laughs> I would have the tendency to go heavy on like the squats and stuff like that. So. I just wanted to ask, like, you know, Mag, you're telling me to go lighter for a couple of, I mean, I would say weeks, months, maybe. Yeah. I so, would, yeah. I, mean, I would also consider moving into MAPS performance after that, too. I think that would do you some good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can do that. All, All right, right. Perfect, Juan. Juan. Right. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Bye. Yeah, the, the clicking versus pain, you know, that's a big one, right? Oh, yeah. like, I what's mean, really, that, it's, what's that sound? It's normally, isn't it? I mean, if there's no pain, it's almost always the air in the joints or even like uh, like the muscle fibers, like kind of. Yeah, it could be a tendon popping over yeah, something. Yeah, flopping over each other. Yeah, and then it's what Connective it is. Connective tissue, not really, yeah, responding. Yeah, and then the, the pot, and in pot, like when you crack your knuckles, it's like imagine taking a suction cup and pulling it off a window. Mm hmm. That's what the sound is coming from. It's, it's it's alarming though, so I'll get you know I give yeah. it to him. But like it's it. if it hurts, or if you feel grinding, that's very different. Like yeah. grinding could be issues that'll lead the, to pain typically. Yeah, and I know. I mean, I, there's it's a distinct different feeling. Like there's popping, and then there's like oh man, throughout the whole rep, I feel my knee. Yeah grind almost like you need wd-40 in there or something like did that. did you hear that video that i posted a couple weeks ago i didn't oh I didn't yeah to the sound yeah. oh yeah turn the sound up yeah, can, do yeah a few people commented they noticed it like, what's that sound yeah you could hear <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah as they come down the sound of age i do notice it though more i do if i neglect priming really well yeah. if i do a good job of like priming and then doing like some so another thing that i i'm in i've been doing lately that i like in my garage is i i have the suspension trainer uh attached to the PRX and I'll do like 30 like body weight squats and I use the suspension trainer to help me stay up, oh, yeah. upright yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and to kind of pinch my shoulders and I just I bust out 30 full range real deep squats and then I do some priming and I, I do that with Cossack squats I'll hold on to the suspension trainer get re try and get real deep on one side and then move to the other and get that lateral activation yeah. for me at least that's what helps the most yeah yeah